Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial, we are going to create our developer account and we will be using this developer account to practice our flows. Okay. So the first step that you have to do is you have to go to developer.salesforce.com. So open your browser and go to this particular site, developer.salesforce.com. And then on the right hand side, you will see a sign up button. So go ahead and click on that sign up button. And uh, this is going to be the Salesforce developer account that we are going to be creating. And it's completely free of cost and there is no expiration to this account. So you can use it and you can use it for lifetime. And uh, this is and you don't need any credit card information in order to create your developer account. I'm going to providing my first name here, Deepika Khanna. And email address, this has to be a valid email address because the link to setting up your account and the password will be coming to this email address. So I'm going to go ahead and provide my official email, which is info at mytutorialrack.com. Role, you can go ahead and uh, put it a role here. And company, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a company name as my tutorial rack. And then the country, United States. Uh, go ahead and choose your country and then another important thing is sometimes people do ask me what company should be if they're not working for any company or anything that is fine you don't have to have a company account or anything you can give anything abc as well will work for you for you the next thing is your zip code so go ahead and provide your zip code here and then username another important point is this username has to be in an email format so i'm going to say dipika Hanna at Lightning Flow Builder. So this is the name of the course that I'm building, Lightning Flow Builder. So I'm going to go ahead and use this username and then hit the sign me up button. Now, once that's processing, what's going to happen is you're going to get a email and that is basically for confirming your account. So if I go ahead and open my Outlook here and uh, very soon you're going to see an email coming. So you can see here an email came which is welcome to Salesforce and this is the username. So you, please save your username before you forget. So this is going to be my username and then I'm going to hit the verify account button. So once you click on the verify account, it is going to ask you to set up a password and the password has to be eight characters, one letter and one number. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, choose the password here. And then what city you can choose any security cushion if you want and then hit the change password. So this is how you will be logged into your developer account. So now you're completely logged in and uh, have this open because sometimes it takes you to uh, sync. And if you try to go ahead and log in to salesforce.com using that account, if you did it right away, then it sometimes it won't let you in. So have this account open for a little bit of time. So it's going to be Deepika Khanna at lightningflowbuilder.com. And then you can provide your password that you have chosen when you were creating this account. Hit the login. I have a extension that's asking me to save that. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. Now, the next thing is if you want to register your phone, I don't want to register it. So I'm just going to choose this option. And uh, now I am logged into my Salesforce developers account and we will be using lightning here. So I'm not going to be showing this in classic. We will be using full fledged lightning and we will be creating flows. Now, this is your developer account that you can practice along with me. So in the next tutorial, we are going to go ahead and talk more about flows and cover up some theory and then few lectures down, we will be implementing our first flow. So I'm going to talk to you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much.